Uh, last night, the Knicks, with the 17th pick, took Iman Shumpert uh, out of Georgia Tech as their newest player, a versatile guard, and he joins us now. Iman, Mike Francesa in New York, Yes Network, WFAN. How you doing? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Good, thank you. Welcome to New York. Oh, man, I appreciate you guys having me. I'm so glad they called my name at 17. Well, tell me, what were you thinking? I, what, what, As you sat around or as you got ready for the draft, where did you think you were going last night? Uh, in my heart, I felt I was coming to New York. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, and you had worked out for the Knicks? Yeah, I, I did. I had, a, I had a good workout with the Knicks, uh, you know, interview well with them, uh, you know. Felt, felt at home when, when I was talking with those guys. So. so last night when they got to 17, you were saying, I think I'm coming to the Knicks. I was definitely saying that. Oh, um, good. Oh, did you, was there another team that was very uh, – you, you had a good connection with also, or was it just the Knicks? Uh, no, there were, there, there were other teams, but uh, now that doesn't matter. What uh, what did, what did you – what kind of feedback did you get from the Knicks when you uh, worked out with them? Uh, they, they they said they like my my aggressiveness uh, on both sides of the ball, uh, especially defensively. Uh, they also said that they didn't expect me to shoot the ball that well. They said they knew I could shoot. Uh, they didn't think about it was a knock on my jump shot as bad as everybody was saying, but uh, they didn't expect me to shoot it that that well. And uh, you know I, I pride myself on that just 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 getting up as many shots as I can since the season has ended. What. Uh... How would you describe your game? Forget how everyone else described it. How would you describe your game? Oh, my game is, uh, you know, playing with a, a ton of passion. And um, I, I take a, a whole lot of pride in, in guarding the ball. I hate when people score on me. And uh, I hate when my team gets scored on. I'm all about my team. And, uh, you know, the biggest the biggest thing is just for us to get a win. We're talking with Iman Shuper, who is the newest Nick, a versatile guard, very good-looking athlete out of Georgia Tech. You're an Illinois kid. I know Paul Hewitt's always was a very good recruiter. Uh, what what took you to Georgia Tech? Uh, my relationship with Coach Hewitt was uh, a direct relationship. Uh, a lot of a lot of college coaches um, recruit you, and sort of when you when you talk to the head coach, it's a, it's the same rundown. Where you? Uh, how's your family? Uh, how's your mom? And you know, it's, it's the same routine over and over. But with Coach Hewitt, it was, "Hey, mom, what, what you doing, man? Uh, turn on, turn on this game. I really want you to watch this guy play and, and watch how he does this. Uh, I think you could be sort of like this. Uh, this ESPN Classic game is on. You might want to watch this. So being able to just talk basketball with him uh, drew me closer to him. So you like, and Paul Hewitt, I've known him a long time. is a very engaging guy. You just oh, you took to Paul Hewitt is what it came down to. Oh, it, that and uh, I needed a city. Uh, I'm a city boy at heart. Okay, man. so you wanted to go to a town, a, a oh, college definitely. that had a city. Like, did you like Atlanta? I, I, I loved Atlanta. Uh, I loved Atlanta actually. So and that makes sense, and, and I can see why you'd like you. I can see playing for you at you. It's always a guy who, uh, and Georgia Tech has always had a great history for guards, anyway. So I mean that didn't, yeah. that didn't hurt, I'm sure. So, <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. He also uh, told me that I was going to play point guard. Uh, you know, being being bigger, uh, a lot of a lot of people wanted to develop me at, at different positions, and Coach Hewitt wanted to develop me as a point guard. Said so he felt like uh, that was that was the door I had to go through. So. I uh, I know Favors leaves last year, which changes your team a lot. There's no question. Uh, what 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 went wrong with Georgia Tech last year? Um, I think that we just never got it rolling all at once. I think certain guys had good games. Part of it is just us being so young. We had a young roster. Right. Um, we also had two red shirt big men who who came in and did as much as they could, but not having uh, a older guy there to to sort of walk them through it you know that they're going through it with their eyes closed basically so uh the acc is tough and 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 they did what they could but next year i know that those guys are going to be so much better yeah and you're right the acc every year is uh, very tough we're talking with iman schumper who is the schumper excuse me (laughs) the newest nick iman schumper the newest nick and uh what do you know about new york city what do you know about the knicks New York City, I know is. You ever been here? Yeah, yeah, I love the city. Um, you know, I know that that New York is always called Chicago, the second city. I know that. That is true. Uh, so I, I guess I guess I'm in the first. Did you city. grow up in Chicago? 
Oh, yes. Uh, I grew up right outside of Oak Park. Grew up right outside it. So you, you like big cities, and now you're in one. So have you ever spent any time in New York, or is, is it something you're just getting yeah. used to now? Yeah, I, I came down here uh, for about a week last summer. Uh, spent spent some time with, with a close friend from college. She's from uh, New Jersey. Right. We just we just you know she showed me around. You know. Did you like it? Did a lot of shopping. You like it? Yeah, yeah I, I loved it. I loved the city. So being in a big city is something that will uh, fit you. You like the idea of being around in a big city? Oh, definitely. I'm a people person. How and, about and the How about the Knicks? What do you think about the Knicks now that they have Stoudemire? And I know you're. I know you're hooked with the same agent as Stoudemire has. Yeah. And also, do you know anything? How much you know about Carmelo? I know you've probably watched them, right? Oh yeah, I know. I, I know. I know a lot about all these guys. Chauncey as well. Uh, oh, you do? Okay. Tony Douglas, you know. Right. You know, he, he he's a guy I played against sure. uh, in college. And he contributed last year, too. I mean, oh, he, yeah. he he did a good job last year. Definitely. Not a back-down guy. No, and, and, and actually came in and, and, and started to make a lot of big threes last year, too. Yeah. You know, which is something that I'm sure you can work on, right? I mean, they talk about guys who have to work on their shot. There's nothing wrong with that. doesn't mean you can't learn to really become a good shooter. Are you a guy who thinks you can become a really good shooter? Oh, definitely. I feel, I feel like I, and I have the work ethic to do it. Uh, my dad was telling me the other day, if if the worst thing in your game is your jump shot, then, you know, that that's something to be uh, to be happy about. I would agree. Uh, because all, all, all you have to do is get more repetition with shooting. And once your confidence gets behind your repetition, uh, you, you're going to shoot the ball well. 